This video is about cleaning the carriage position switches in a Biogram 4000 turntable. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. The electronic control system of the Biogram enters certain states depending on the tone arm position. The tone arm position is determined via five switches that are triggered by springs that touch the switches as the carriage moves towards the record center. Here you see the five switches and these are the springs that trigger those switches. Here we see an excerpt from the service manual. These are the springs and these are the switches. So as the carriage travels in, these springs here, if they are in the right location, they can each trigger one or two of these switches. There are five important tone arm positions. One is the home position, so it's called SO, that stands for switch off of the turntable. Then we have the end position, the end switch position, that is the position at which the carriage has traveled all the way in and needs to return. Then we have MV, that signifies the location at which the control system switches to end groove detection. And then we have switches that detect the correct positions for 17 centimeters, 25 centimeter and 30 centimeter diameter records. It is interesting to have a quick look at the control logic of the turntable. The switches are connected to NAND gates that form flip-flops each of these double structures are flip-flops and these flip-flops they can switch state depending on the inputs and so these switches are part of the inputs that control these flip-flops the other inputs come from the keypad with which the turntable is being controlled so depending on the switch condition and what's pressed on the keypad certain states occur here in these flip-flops and the outputs of the flip-flops are then connected to the rest of the electronic of the turntable where motors are turned on and off and sensors are being read out and so forth. It is obvious that the condition of these switches is vital for the trouble-free operation of this turntable. Here you see the carrier that contains the springs that presses on the switches and this here is the circuit board that contains the switches. Here you can see one of them. So first we have to take out this carrier and then take the screws out for the circuit board and then we can turn the circuit board around and clean the contacts of those switches. It's convenient to move the carriage a little bit over so one can access the board better once this uh, plate here has been removed. Now we can take out the spring carrier. One needs to be a little bit careful here with the position indicator because it sticks into the keypad assembly. So we take out the two screws and then we lift this plate out towards the back of the turntable. The next step is to unsolder the leads of the motor because they're pretty short so otherwise they would be in the way once we flip the PCB over. Now we can unbolt the PCB and flip it over. One needs to pull it out from underneath this plate and then you can turn it around. Now it's time to clean the contacts. I usually use a 2000 grit sandpaper that I coat with a little bit of deoxid D100 and so by slightly pressing on the contacts I get the oxide layer off of them. So I always turn the sandpaper around and do both sides. 
This is the type of sandpaper that you use for the final polishing of a vinyl cover, so it's really, really fine and it will not damage the contacts, but it will be strong enough to take the oxide layer off. Now it's time to put everything back together. Essentially, we do the steps in reverse order. So we push the PCB back in and now we put the two screws. And we can solder the leads of the motor back in. I just put a little bit of flux on there and then reheat the solder that's already there while holding the leads onto the solder points. And now we can put the spring carrier back in. So be careful here with the indicator that it goes into that groove that is inside the keypad assembly here. And now we put in the screws. And that's it. Now you know how to clean the carriage position switches in a Biogram 4000. Thanks for watching.